Hi students, welcome to An Academy Neat English. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the ways by which you can revise your syllabus very quickly. So basically in this video, we are going to talk about the smart way to revise your complete syllabus for Neat 2025 and to score 680 plus marks. So make sure you watch this video till the end. You can increase the speed of the video as well. And do not forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. So first of all, let's discuss few things. Whatever I'm going to discuss with you all, you guys can see it in your on your screen as well. The very first thing is students, the expected exam date. You know that uh, during the COVID period, no doubt your exam date, it was changed. But now it will be there in the first week of May. So we can say that our expected exam date is 4th May 2025. Okay. So when it comes to the syllabus, because there is a reduction in the syllabus now. So total 79 chapters are there. Again, you guys can see it on your screen. Right. So the time lift. No doubt, I'm thinking that you guys are watching this video around 22nd August or 23rd August, but still, let's consider this plan from the September 1st till your May 4th, 2025. So I can say if I consider the time from September to April, you guys are having eight months. From 1st September to your April, you people are having eight months. And trust me, eight months are more than sufficient to revise the syllabus, to complete the syllabus and to practice the questions as well. So the very first thing that you all need to keep in your mind is, yes, you guys can do it. Okay, you guys can do it. You will crack me 2025 and one medical seat is there for you all. Okay, so now when it comes to the syllabus completion, what are we going to do exactly? Are we going to complete the, are we going to utilize the time from September to April to complete the syllabus? No, it's a big no. We have to finish our syllabus till February or I will say till mid of the February. Why? Because we need the time for the revision. We need the time for the question practice. And here, it's not, it doesn't matter that uh, whether you have mastered all the 79 chapters or not. The most important thing is the revision again and again. Again and again, I emphasize on one thing that is 80-20 rule. That your 80% of the uh, paper will come from your 20% of the syllabus. So your 20% syllabus, that is the most important syllabus. You need to master that. And trust me, you guys will get marks above average by doing that and now so uh, what we have to do we have to complete our syllabus till fi uh, 15th of February let's keep 15th of February as our last day to finish the syllabus so now let's talk about some targets and they should be realistic again you people can see it on uh, on your screen so one is let's say you are targeting 500 to 650 marks okay as per your state, as per your category, you guys can decide your score. If you people are thinking that I want to start now and I want to get Ames Delhi, I want to get All India Rank 1. So I believe you have completed the syllabus once, right? It's just that your preparation is not directional. And now you're watching this video because you want to make sure that you get that proper track for the revision, right? So let's focus on some targets. You can, let's say if your target is 500 to 650 marks, then yes, you can go for the most important chapters. You can be selective for physics, chemistry, as well as biology. It means if you want to leave few chapters, you guys can. If your target is 550 to 650 marks, again, but here, there is no option for biology. You can be selective for the physics and chemistry only. 600 to 650 marks, again, you can be selective for physics and chemistry. You cannot leave biology at any cost. And if your target is 600 to 700 or 650 to 720 marks, then you have to complete all the 79 chapters. Because you cannot say that, that from this chapter only you will get the questions. You know that, especially in biology, we cannot say that uniform distribution is there. So I hope this list is clear. Now let's move to the next part about the syllabus. That how can we complete the syllabus? That is the biggest question, isn't it? See, first of all, you have to divide your syllabus, right? If let's say you are starting from the zero. When I'm saying starting from the zero, it means you have revised the chapters, right? But it's like that the flow was not there. You're not preparing consistently. Let's say you have completed your uh, physiology portion uh, in the month of July and now you don't know anything related to that. Anything like this. Okay. So divide your syllabus in three categories. Easy, moderate and difficult. It can vary from student to student. Okay. It can literally vary from student to student. Let's say for some people genetics, it is very easy. But for some students, it is difficult. So as per your, as per your uh, Competence, you guys can divide your syllabus into three categories, easy, difficult and the moderate. Now, how to complete your syllabus? That is the next question. First approach is start from the easy one. 
then go for the difficult one. Okay, let's say if you're starting from the easy one for physics, chemistry and biology, make sure you finish the, the easy chapters till October, then go for the moderate one, then difficult one. But the deadline is same that is 15th of February. Now, the second approach can be, you can just entirely reverse it, you can just go for, you can start with the difficult one. And yes, no doubt, I will suggest this approach. Why? Because you are just about to start, you have time. And yes, if you will give more time to the difficult chapters, right, you will feel confident, right? And after that, you can go for moderate and easy, right? Third approach is you can go for the combination. Let's say one chapter that you are studying today is the difficult, then moderate, then easy. You can go for that as well. So it is as per your preparation, guys. It is as per your preference. But yes, please sit today and please divide your syllabus in these three categories. Now let's move to the next part. So as I said, we'll I'll give you time till mid of the February right the students who started in the month of august they can consider the deadline as 31st january those who are starting from september they can keep it for february but please do not delay that's a request students please do not delay now let's say roughly from september to mid of the february roughly let's say you have 165 days right 165 days so now be smart four points that you cannot miss one thing do not leave the most important topics yes Whatever is your target, first of all, keep it realistic, right? Please understand your caliber. Please understand where are you efficient. Accordingly, decide everything. So be realistic. Let's say for last year, if for your category, right, for your state, if the cutoff was 600, this time target for 650. If the cutoff was 650, target for 700. But yes, again, I will say be realistic. Understand your strengths. Then accordingly, make a proper plan and do not change your strategy again and again. So the most important thing, do not leave the most important topics. Do not leave the most important MCQs from physics, chemistry and from biology. And this point especially for the physics and chemistry. Then do not avoid MCQ practice. If you think I will just read, read and read and I'm not going to practice, it's a big no. It is a big no. Then do not make, miss the mock test. So all these points you have to consider if you really want to score well. Now, how to complete the syllabus? Difficult plus moderate for that particular chapters, you, you have to watch the detailed lectures, notes, then obviously NCRT, then PYQs. You cannot skip short notes. You have to make your short notes and that short notes will be very beneficial for you when you will start your preparation in the month of February. For easy chapter, please devote very less time. Just go for the one shots, read it from NCRT, practice the PYQs, that's all. But for the moderate and difficult chapters, go for the detailed lectures. Go for the detailed lectures where your NCRT has been discussed okay now here on the screen you guys can see the list of the physics chapter that you people should not avoid i have uh, seen many youtube videos and i'm giving you the crux okay i have seen many educators many toppers and these are the important chapters that they emphasize so do not leave current electricity ray optics semiconductors and logic gates kinematics rotational motion gravitation moving charge and magnetism electric potential and capacitance now can you see a block on your screen where you know i divided the syllabus right obviously physics chemistry biology in the physics you guys can see two columns even in chemistry even in biology now guys it's a very famous strategy by a very famous teacher it was in hindi but i thought that uh, i want my uh, students to have the benefit of it so that is why i'm sharing here it in front of you okay guys so guys you people can see here here what you have to do you can move row wise this is just a plan this is just a suggestion i'm not saying go for that only but it is very analyzed strategy just focus on the first row where they have mentioned the physics chapter then chemistry then biology you can make such combinations and then you can revise for an example for the physics your newton's law and uh, laws uh, of motion then yes then next you have is electrostatics so when you complete these two chapters together then you guys can go for the thermal physics right so this is i'm talking about the first row you want to follow the column wise you can it is just one block right it is just one block so in that particular strategy that teacher has uh, given the three blocks for the quick revision but i'm just giving you uh, an idea that how can you divide your syllabus so i'm just that's why i'm i have added it here so newton's laws of motion electrostatics then you can go for thermal physics same way in the chemistry right accordingly you people can proceed and same for the biology so please follow this right and uh, please follow this particular part 
okay this uh, a strategy this block strategy go row wise and then you can further move down let's say in the physics you completed the newton's laws of motion electrostatics then thermal physics then go for kinematics your gravitation capacitance then you can go for for the uh, heat transfer further so like this in a zigzag way you can complete your physics part then chemistry same for the biology let's uh, in the biology you can see human physiology is there then human uh, reproduction reproductive health plant physiology then sexual reproduction and flowering plants then animal diversity and genetics so accordingly make a plan uh, go for it right so this video is specifically specifically for the droppers and those who are in class 12th and they have finished they are about to finish their class 12th syllabus so follow this and trust me if you will prepare in a proper way if you follow a proper strategy trust me these eight months are more than sufficient for you all right the main things that you cannot avoid is mcq practice notes making and the mock test if you are not going to start with the mock test practice now then uh, let's say if you just started in the month of april only then it will be like let's say if you will start now you will understand the time management in a better way so that's my suggestion start it from today itself okay after start giving your mock test after every 15 days on an academy platform you guys can access many questions right you people can practice there so complete your syllabus till february so that in the month of uh, february and march you can revise in the month of april you can give your mock test then you can revise from your errors and you will get the good marks so it's always about your strategy okay it's not about your syllabus right let's say if you have completed 79 chapters but you are not revising it it will not be helpful for you so focus on such things guys and you know that we are here to support you so in the description box there is a link for my batch that is phoenix pro and uh, you know that the complete team avengers is teaching you there you guys can see the details on your screen as well so join this batch without delay because we are about to start plant physiology and human physiology is also going on and after that we will move to the important chapters of your class 12 as well so keep studying and if there is any doubt do let me know in the comment section thank you so much everyone